Results and recommendations for future actions as part of juvenile justice reform in Montenegro were presented at the Justice for Children conference held in Podgorica on Thursday 3rd of July. We would like to salute firstly the commitment of the government of Montenegro to secure and enforce the human rights of children who come into contact with the law as victims, witnesses or perpetrators, suspects of crime, as offenders as well. And we'd also like to salute the uh, commitment of the European Union because we truly believe through their leadership on this area we have made a good example of how justice for children can be a litmus test for the broader justice sector reform in the country. The key segment of the juvenile justice system reform is systemic application of a different approach to juveniles in conflict with the law, focused on the application of alternative measures. Sada s ove pozicije, nakon intenzivnih 18 mjeseci realizacije projekta Pravda za djecu, možemo konstatovati da su sve planirane projektne aktivnosti realizovane i da su dali izuzetne rezultate. Rezultati koji nas čine sve bliže konstataciji da u Crnoj Gori imamo pravo suđe po mjeri djeteta, koje je dostupno, primjereno uzrastu, brzo, marljivo, prilagođeno potrebama i pravima djeteta. As a result of the greater application of alternative measures instead of court proceedings, the percentage of reported juveniles processed in courts decreased by more than 20% in one year. At the same time, the percentage of juveniles in conflict with the law who were diverted from the court proceedings to alternative measures increased by nearly 25% from 2010 to 2013. Podaci Ministarstva rada i socijalnog staranja pokazuju da se broj maloljetnika prema kojima je pripremljeno program rehabilitacije i reintegracije stalno povećava i da se smanjuje broj djece smješteni u centru Ljubović. Poseban akcenat treba staviti na prevenciju neprihvatljivog ponašanja djece, što podrazumijeva razvoj mreža ustanova i organizacija na lokalnom nivou, uključivanje svi segmenata društva u sprovođenju ovih aktivnosti. Through the project Justice for Children, implemented by the Montenegrin Ministry of Justice and the Ministry of Labor and Social Welfare, with UNICEF's technical support and financial support from the EU delegation in Montenegro, the capacities of juvenile justice professionals have been strengthened and the conditions improved for ensuring proper treatment by the judicial authorities of child victims and witnesses of crimes. In particular, nine prosecutor's offices and five courts in Montenegro have been equipped with the latest equipment for the hearing of child victims and witnesses in accordance with the relevant international standards. When children are involved with justice systems, that are not child-friendly, they can be subject to manifold restrictions or even violations of their rights. The project that we closed today was specifically designed to help, help Montenegro to establish a comprehensive legal and regulatory framework for juvenile justice in line with the EU Charter on Fundamental Rights, but also the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child. The success of the ongoing juvenile justice system reform to which the Justice for Children project has contributed is confirmed by the statistics indicating a decrease in juvenile delinquency in Montenegro. To conclude, Montenegro has achieved extraordinary results with justice sector reform for children. Well, can you, as I said just now, we will continue to work together with them that children's rights are always, uh, always respected and that we do everything we can to prevent children from getting involved in crime. UNICEF and the government of Montenegro will continue working together on the reform of the judiciary system in order to strengthen capacities and provide better support to young people to prevent them from breaking the law, as well as to provide better rehabilitation of juveniles in conflict with the law so that they grow up into responsible and productive citizens.